Hi, so in this demo I'm going to show you how to handle a deadlock and how to retry on deadlocks. So I set up a um, table here that has three rows and I'm going to try to update the first row and second row and I'm, I'm causing a deadlock here because what I'm doing is within a transaction I'm going to update the first row first here then the second row but I'm going to do the opposite here which causes a conflict and a deadlock because this is waiting for row 1 to be released and this is waiting for row 2 to be released while this already updated row 2 and this already updated row 1 so uh, l let me cause the deadlock here and notice I did set the priority of this window to low and this window to normal so this window here the second window will always be the deadlock victim so I'm gonna execute both of these here and um, just wait a couple seconds about 10 seconds and you'll see this window here is gonna be the deadlock victim um, so you'll see that uh, this is the deadlock victim so it says right there that's a deadlock victim so how do you handle this how, how do you handle um, the situation where um, if the business logic allows for it you really just want to retry uh, because you don't uh, you, you don't want to handle it either in your um, code your client code or somewhere else um, that you really do intend to do these set of operations uh, after the resources are released so uh, let, let me reset the example here and I'm gonna take these three lines and I'm gonna put it in a retry loop so you'll see here I, I I have this loop here and these three statements so what's gonna happen here is um, it's in a try this is the try uh, and this is the catch so within the catch I'm um, in a loop so I'm gonna retry a maximum of three times if, if it encounters a deadlock here it'll just wait five seconds and then it'll just continue again so I'm gonna do that here notice I set this priority again to low so I'm gonna I'm gonna run this here this normal priority and I'm gonna run this here and this is actually gonna fail the first time around maybe the second time around on a deadlock but eventually it will complete these three statements so this this completed here and it probably encountered the deadlock and it's waiting the five seconds and it's retrying right now notice uh, the keyword here is I, I do have the rollback and I do have the commit so you'll, you'll notice if if you look at the error messages it did encounter a deadlock but after it encountered a deadlock um, it waited those five seconds so so what happens is uh, here it encountered the deadlock so when it encountered the deadlock it went into this catch block the catch block printed these error messages here uh, 1205 being the deadlock error number and it rolled back this transaction uh, it rolled back this transaction and it incremented the re retry count and then it just um, retries after another five minutes so that's how you would handle uh, deadlock situations uh, if you wanted to retry within a stored procedure so I hope that helps. This is a very simple way and a uh, very novel way of handling deadlocks and retries. Uh, so thank you for watching.